Donington Park is the home of the FIA Formula E International Electric Racing Car Championship. And unlike other racing car championships with the teams spread out all over the world, for Formula E there is this fabulous 44,000 square foot purpose-built facility, enough room for 150 engineers and support staff, and they all work together in one place. The cars will be set up by all the teams differently, so when they leave the, when they leave the pits and they go from the track, the car will take with it its inherent setup, and that will be different across the teams. Right. I mean, because it's a one-make series, yeah. we'll all be in a band that's quite, yes. that's quite close, but there are subtle differences in our uh, a few things you can change about how the car is operated. One of the things we've been working very closely with Formula E for is for the wireless charging on the safety vehicle. Right. The vehicle that will be sent out at the start of the race and in an incident. The idea behind that is we wirelessly charge that vehicle and then the car could just go just without just any go problems. Any point. Yeah, right. absolutely. That's been the main focus of our business is right. looking at how we can integrate um, high power wireless charging systems yeah. into race cars and right. ultimately into, into road cars. Yeah. And we've showed um, our systems work fantastically well on the World Land Speed Record Breaking V12. Right and uh, we'll be wirelessly powering the safety car for Formula E. Right. And uh, well, hopefully we'll then see other teams adopt the technology and ultimately car manufacturers sign up to yeah. use this sort of liberating technology. No, it is fantastic. Donington, because it's heaped in history, you can always look back and it's time now to, 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 to put a stop to that and look forwards. Yeah. And I, I'm a big believer in what you see here today with Formula E. I think it is the future. I'm glad we're in at the, at the beginning.